all the world's faiths were created by the same God. Think of them as different roads to roam, the verb which means to move about without a purpose or plan. God started us out with indigenism. Everywhere in the world, they had a different God. Then he unified them through Hinduism, a hierarchy of gods. Then he presented himself to Moses as the one God of us all. But then God came to the Buddha to present one road to Rome, that of desire, what Moses described as the good and evil fruits in the tree of knowledge that I associate with the testicles of man. The life-giving force that comes out of our testicles also produces diseases that kill. This is a paradox. Ancient man couldn't understand this knowledge as we can today. The main metaphor of Moses was universalized through the creation story, but primitive people still take it literally today. Some confused souls even personify God as the force of good and Satan as the force of evil, as if God isn't powerful enough to handle evil on his own. Our creator anticipated this perplexing problem by presenting the Buddha with a message that doesn't include God. This makes the pursuit of our desires a discipline that we can explore without God consciousness. Everyone is responsible for his or her desires. That's what it means to be a responsible human being. Therefore, Buddhist meditation is an intrinsic aspect of the meaning of prayer communication with our creator. But we must include our desires in with the other forces within us, thinking, feeling, believing, contemplating, and questioning. The ambivalence and confusion you see in your mind when you get quiet is what the Buddhists call the monkey mind. Meditation empties the mind of thought so you can view each thought as it bubbles up. Observe the movement of your mind. You don't have to choose between one thought and another. Just watch the confounding choices your monkey mind presents you with. Relax through the process. Our spiritual operating system, SOS, works to relieve us of confusion through meditation. This makes it possible to move on to Taoism, the realm of questioning. Our creator has given us a system, but it requires peace within and peace on earth for us to achieve it.